All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Dash, the honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Uh, this, this is uh, <clears throat> an update uh, on um, the uh, coming digital currency, which is going to lead to the mark of the beast. Um, so this will be uh, another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. What I have here is an article from brownstoneresearch.com. Uh, this is from October 21st, 2020. And it's headline, Russia announces plans for a digital ruble. Okay? A digital ruble. All right? Um, so let me jump down. It says the CBDC race is heating up. All right? It says we have talked about central bank and digital currencies quite a bit this year. But our focus has largely like but our focus has largely been on the race between the United States and China to launch their own respective digital currencies. Now we can add Russia to the list. All right. Uh, the Bank of Russia just put out a research paper on its own CBDC, and the paper shows that Russia's CBDC will be exactly what we would expect it to be, a digital version of the ruble. And the Russian government will control the digital wallets used to hold and transact the currency. No surprise there either. So we're seeing all of these different governments around the world, China, Russia, now um, you got, uh, of course, you know, America's developing one, um, Japan. All these countries are basically in the race, in the game, to build central bank digital currencies. Why? Because this is a global reset by the elites of Esau, all right, the, the international bankers, okay, the cabal, all right, to shift the world digitally to move from paper money and coins, okay? Which in turn is going to lead to what? The microchip implant, okay? All right? The microchip implant is going to be a global, uh, a global project, so to speak, okay, from the elites to get all the world on their new system, okay? And these governments are going to be in control. Uh, it says, what's interesting is that Russia plans to allow the digital ruble to coexist with the physical currency in circulation. That's a different approach from some of the other CBDCs we have seen. All right. So basically, they're going to go ahead and start using it. But eventually, yes, the, the physical currency is going to be phased out. OK, the Bahamas, for example. Right. That's that's down amongst the Israelites. All right. The so-called blacks down there, the tribe of Benjamin. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, let's see here. But yeah, that's a, um, uh, amongst the tribe of Benjamin. Okay. It says the Bahamas, for example, plans to remove an equivalent amount of physical currency from circulation as sand dollars into the market. We talked about that last month, right? So they're removing physical currency to put in digital currency and they're calling it sand dollars okay so with all these digital currencies being developed they're going to be attached to a new global monetary system just like everybody now their physical currency is based off of the dollar being the world reserve currency everything is going to switch man everything is leading up to uh, uh, Esau's so called new world order okay all right which as soon as he think he's about to achieve it, that's when the heavenly father is going to destroy him. All right. Uh, it says now it says, and it turns out that there is a strategic reason for Russia's approach. Rather than replace physical cash, the Bank of Russia stated goal is to limit the reallocation of funds within the country to private digital assets and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. In other words, Russia is taking a defensive stance. It hopes that the conveniences provided by CBDC will attract funds that would have otherwise flowed into private cryptocurrency. So basically they're saying, well, let this money flow back to the government. Let us be in control. OK, it says this makes sense from the perspective of a central government. OK. Um, OK. Um, so this is where we're at right now. OK, we're. Moving towards a new digital shift, 
Okay? Um and is it gonna be is it gonna be um seen all right is it gonna be seen um soon how this is gonna play out I'll say within the next year because they already have these these different countries testing out these digital currencies and the microchip and everything amongst different countries. And as they're continuing to get positive feedback, so to speak, then they're going to start to implement it um, in a real world situation. OK. And this is the prophecy in Revelation 13 coming to pass. All right. Um, you know, um, it's not much more on this. Uh, let's see here. Ever since the Cold War, Russia's educational system has been strong in mathematics, computer science and cryptography. In fact, the latest the latest data for the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, shows that Russia ranked the full five spots ahead of the U.S. in mathematics literacy. This is one reason why we see a lot of blockchain-related projects either spawning in Russia or getting contributions from Russian developers. All right, because at the end of the day, the Russians are Edomites. It all goes back to the power of Esau. All right? It says there's a deep talent pool in the country that's well suited for the blockchain industry. Clearly, Russia hopes to redirect some of these resources to its own CBDC project. China, the U.S., Russia, which major country will be next? Okay. All right. So we're coming to that time and I want to get one scripture. All right. And that's uh, Revelation the third chapter, okay, because once they start to introduce these uh, these um, digital currencies and these different ways of payments and you know uh, central based, you know digital currencies and um, and uh, these um, universal basic incomes. All right, and eventually the chip, people are going to be basically, uh, you know, seducing to taking it, okay? Trying to continue to live their normal lives, but we, the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashmi Shah, we know to not um, get uh, diverted from the truth and get that chip. So this is Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is that time period of being tempted in this world to take the microchip implant, not Christianity, right? Like these other Israelite groups, these weirdos say, man, come on, man. All right. You're going to be tempted. Hey, man, the world's already been tempted with Christianity and, and our people was forced to follow it. The end didn't come in. So what are these guys talking about, man? What is the Bach and I C B K I U I C? You know what is H O Y and these guys? What are y'all talking about, man? The hour of temptation is going to be when this world Esau system changes, and you're going to be forced to adapt and either be destroyed by them, or you comply and be destroyed by the heavenly Father. Which is worse, man? Okay. So the Lord says, "I will also I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation." That's the microchip implant. Okay, coming into play, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is going to be a test to try our faith, man. We have to believe in Yahweh Shai to not have this world shift us as as the world shifts in this system, man. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So you got to continue to believe. And the things that we have learned, knowing from who we learned them, knowing that the apostles have always been right, GMS has always been right, and that everything that we've said over the years is coming to pass in the earth now, okay? So we just got to hold on, you know? But with that, you know, I hope this was edifying. Uh, until next time I say, Shalom.